Check. All right, BFit Nation, welcome back to another Motivation Monday with myself, BFit Ambassador Roy Montes, and my guest, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Hey, good morning. Happy Monday. I'm doing good. <laughs> Absolutely. Happy Monday to you as well. And happy Monday to all of our viewers out there today for our BFit Live. I'm joining you today from my home. Sergeant Barry is joining you today from her home. This is BFit Live. We go through a home or anywhere uh, type of workout that you can find comfortable to you, that you have available to you. Our workouts are programmed to hit a full body workout here today. Uh, so I will be honest, and today we are hitting a lot of lower body, a lot of lower body movements here. So I hope that you uh, bring your comfortable clothes, your grab your towels, grab your waters, waters, get settled in, and we will get started. If you're new to BFIT Live, welcome. We have four exercises programmed for you today. Our timing for today is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four exercises that I will demo to you before we get started, so that way there are no surprises, and one minute rest in between each of those four rounds. So today, I know the past two weeks we've been featuring exchange products that you're able to find at your local exchange or online at shopmyexchange.com. And this weekend, I thought I'd bring you a piece of equipment that can be utilized uh, just like it would a dumbbell, just like our resistance bands that we featured two weeks ago. Um, so today we are featuring a kettlebell, okay? A uh, kettlebell is a great piece of equipment that you can find, again, at your store, your local exchange or shopmyexchange.com. We will send a, a follow-up link with this exact product. But kettlebells, again, they're very useful in working out. They can help, uh, one, they have a more comfortable handle uh, than a dumbbell on some movements. You can really swing these uh, with momentum here. You can build on stability, on balance. You can build on conditioning, just total, a total body workout with one or two kettlebells, as well as develop speed and power with a lot of different movements. And we will go through four movements today that I will be demoing with a kettlebell and Sergeant Barry will be, will be dem demonstrating with a dumbbell. Uh, so again, all of these four workouts today can be performed with a dumbbell, with a kettlebell, or if you do not have any resistance uh, like a kettlebell or dumbbell, grab anything with the handle here. You can go ahead and get creative here with a gallon of water or um, just make those nice tight fists that we always talk about here on live. Okay, so again, welcome to BFIT Live. Drop a note in the comments. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know where you're working out from. Let us know how you are starting off the new year, nice and strong with us, I hope, and we will get started. So I'll demo the four exercises for today. We will go into some dynamic stretching to get our bodies prepared and ready to work with. So, Again, I'm going to grab our kettlebell here. If you have a kettlebell with you, go ahead and grab that now. As the dumbbell is at your disposal, go ahead and grab that as well. We have a front rack reverse lunge to a single overhead press, okay? So what we wanna do is go ahead and stand to the top of our, let's say, mat, because we are going to extend back into that reverse lunge. Before that, though, we wanna go ahead and rack our kettlebell at the top of our shoulder and biceps. So that way it's resting here on the side of our arm, okay? If it is a dumbbell, let's go ahead and hold that into a nice, strong top of the bicep curl position here, just like this. We are going to take that front rack position, right leg back, left arm out for stability here and counterbalance. We are going to reverse lunge into our comfortable reverse lunge spot, making sure that our front knee is tracking over the front of that toe here. Sending back, rear leg is hovering just over the floor. Once you can come back up to the top of your starting position, you want to extend that weighted arm overhead for that press. Bicep is gonna be tracking right near that ear. All right, keep that racked. All right, and then we're back into that reverse lunge to overhead press. Okay, again, if, it, if you have a dumbbell, you're just going to hold it like the top of that bicep curl, nice and front rack here, reverse lunge, keeping that chest up, and then rotating out to that overhead press, or like so, okay, 
that's going to be our first exercise right here. Second exercise, you're going to target that hamstring, those hamstrings and those glutes here. We have a deadlift to a bicep curl. So taking a nice strong stance with your resistance here. Kettlebell, weight is going to be facing downward here. Handles up. Feet shoulder width apart here. You're going to soft bend at the knees. You're going to hinge at the hips, pushing those hips back just a little bit here. All right, dropping that weight down to your comfort level. Grip is on the outside here. Once you feel that stretch in your hamstrings to your comfort level, your back wants to be parallel to the floor. Come back up nice and slow, nice and controlled. Elbows tucked in here. Squeeze with that bicep curl. Back down to your starting point. And then continue with your deadlift sequence, okay? If you have a dumbbell, we, we are gonna go ahead and grab that with a wide grip here. So left and right outside of the outside of the dumbbell. Let's go ahead and hover. Drop that dumbbell down, feeling that stretch in your hamstrings, in your glutes, activating as you come up. Bicep curl up top, right back down to start, and then perform that deadlift again with a curl sequence. All right. Exercise number three, we are back into a goblet squat with a pulse. So I have this kettlebell here. I'm going to go ahead and flip it upside down so that way the grip is more comfortable for my hands. I wanna tuck those elbows inside and underneath that, yeah, that kettlebell so that way it has the most support for us. Tracking close to our chest here. We are gonna soft bend at the knees here, hinging at the hips, dropping those hips back and down. Once we get down to that comfort level of a squat, you're going to pulse up, back down to your lowering position, and then extending all the way up, driving up through those heels, okay? Engaging, that, engaging those glutes at the very top. Again, back down, pulse, and right back up with that kettlebell goblet squat. Or dumbbell, if you have that available to you. And last and final exercise, we like to hit our core. We like to activate our core as if these last three movements did not activate our core enough. We are going to go with a side to side V up. So we're going to track on the floor here, down on the deck, feet together here. If you have an object that you can kind of go to raise your feet over, track from the left. Hands are going to be to the left and the right of the hips here. You're going to raise those legs over a piece of object or just to the left and the right. It's going to be a slight V up here. So you want to lean back on the way down and then come back up making that V-shape on the way up here. Depending on how tall your object is that you're extending over, that's gonna be your side to side V-up. Again, we have four exercises, which are those four exercises. We have 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, one minute rest in between each round. Go nice and slow, nice and controlled form uh, over, uh, over everything. So form, proper form, try and isolate those muscle groups that we are targeting today and Go at your own pace. Again, comfort level is going to be your best, uh, your best option here. Okay, let's go with comfort on a lot of these movements here. If our if our squat isn't as low as what you are seeing myself or Sergeant Barry do, um, let's go ahead and raise up. It, feel free if we are at a 30% squat, activating those quads and glutes. If that's where we're at, that is perfectly fine for today. If we need more assistance, go ahead and grab onto a chair to stabilize. If you have a couch or if you have something that you can stabilize a wall, go ahead and lean up against that to add for help and stability. So with that, towel off, hydrate, grab your water, so we'll go ahead and move into some dynamic stretching and then into our workout. Sergeant Barry, are we ready? I'm ready. This looks really fun. I'm excited. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Absolutely. I love it the positivity and encouragement of myself. So dynamic stretching up first, we have a couple of key staples that we go through within our BFIT Live. Our first is gonna be a dynamic quad stretch. We're gonna take that right leg. You're going to extend it back, feeling that stretch in your quad, in your hip flexors, extending that opposite hand up and overhead for a nice long stretch. We are gonna be doing each of these. I'll go ahead and alternate left leg here, right hand up. We're gonna do each of these dynamic stretches for about 30 seconds each. So take your time as needed or speed up as needed. This is a great time to feel out how your body is doing today. If there are any tight spots, if, you're, if you have any tight areas that you need to shake out a little bit more, a little bit longer, go ahead and work those out. 
Again, dynamic squat, quad stretch right here. Last one here, and we will go into reverse lunge with a reach. I'm gonna stand at the top of my mat here. I'm going to bring my hands together like so. You're going to reverse lunge out, extending those hands up and reaching over, feeling that stretch in our lats all the while. Working on opening up those hips, those hip flexors. This is a movement that we are gonna to do today. So let's get comfortable with just body weight first. Warming up that back, mid to upper back. Finding that balance, meaning we need to work on engaging our core just a little bit more while we are pivoting off of one foot. Good, good. If you're like me, I've been sitting for a little while longer this week. So these types of movements really help open up my hips. Elongate those muscle fibers that are right there at the hip flexor area, glutes. All right, let's go ahead and go to alternating lateral lunges here. Take a nice, strong, wide stance here. Feet are gonna be facing forward. We are gonna shift our weight to the right, feeling that stretch in your inner thigh. Back to the left here. Good, take your time with this one. Try and feel if you're tight in this inner thigh area, your adductors. Good. Shifting that weight over again. You should feel your legs starting to warm up. Some blood flow reaching those specific muscle groups that we are about to work today. Good, good, good. Okay, back to the back of our mats here. We are gonna go with a few walkouts here just for more hamstring activation, some more core activation and extending into a high plank. So we are gonna drop with walkouts, reaching down to our toes. We are going to slowly walk out into a high plank position. Once we get into that high plank position, pause for one second and then retract back to our toes, feeling that stretch in your hamstrings. Good, back up top. Next, extend right back down again. Again, slowly walking out. You can feel some core activation here. Give it a nice pause at the top of that high plank. Returning back to our toes, you can feel that spine Retract all the way up. Let's go all the way down once again for two more reps. High plank position. Again, engage that core. And we are back up top for one more. Take up the tempo just a little bit faster on this last one. Good, pause at the top. And come right back up. Good, good, good. All right, speaking of back work, we have a little bit of that. So let's go into those YTWs that we love. So much. So we're going to take a nice strong stance here. You're going to come to the center with our hands. You're going to go ahead and reach up and make that large Y, extending as far up and out as we can. Good. Back down to center, back to that T, left and right. T is going to be stretching to the left and to the right as far as we can. Good. And last one back into the W. Bringing those shoulder blades together. Nice big stance back into that Y. Good, you feel those shoulders warming up into that T, mid to upper back right here, scapula, shoulder blades into that W. Good, really squeezing at the top. Last one here, is that Y? Good, a little bit further out. It's a little further out than last time, back into that T. Good, and then back into that W. Good, how are we feeling here? Arm circle, shake it out a little bit. Any last minute warm ups that we need to do? Good, good, good. Take a little second for yourself here. Gather yourself, warm up. Good, all right, let's go ahead and hydrate here and we will jump in to our first workout of the day. I have a kettlebell front rack reverse lunge with an overhead press while I start my timer. Team, I hope we have, I hope we are starting out with a, little, <laughs> a strong start to our week. I hope we are doing well. Again, let us know in the comments where you were joining from. All right, four rounds, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, one minute rest in between each round, 10 seconds on the clock before we start. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my kettlebell. If you have a dumbbell, go ahead and rack that into your front rack position. Front of the mat here, 
Extending that right leg back out, 40 seconds on the clock. Let's work, team. 20 seconds on each leg. Let's go ahead and drop that right leg down first. We're gonna work for 20 seconds here. Reverse lunge to overhead press. Nice, comfortable tempo. Last two, one. Let's go ahead and alternate weight and leg. Rack that position in the opposite arm. Swing out with that alternating hand for stability and control. Time flies by here. Last seven seconds here. Out in five, three, two, one, and time. All right, 20 seconds of work, 40 seconds of rest here, and then we are gonna move into our deadlift. So keep that resistance with us. If you have that water bottle, go ahead and grab that with your handle here. Eight seconds left, five, four, three, grabbing with the handle or from the left and the right on your dumbbell, extending, pushing those hips back. Back is parallel to the floor here. Once we get back to the top here, we're gonna activate with that bicep curl. My strong stance. Now we wanna hinge at the hips here. Take this movement nice and slow. Idea is you want that back flat and your head to be tracking along with that spine, all right? You want that nice, spinal alignment here. So that head is going to be following and tracking as you lower and raise to your comfort level. Last two, one second here and time. <laughs> good job, good job. All right, team, still in that first round here, 10 seconds left and we are going to that goblet squat with a pulse. Remember we are goblet squat with a pulse down, one pulse and right back up. We are starting in three, Two, one, good. Feet just outside of shoulder width apart. We are driving those hips down, making sure that those knees are tracking over our toes. Drop down in that squat position, pulse up just a few inches, back down, and then extending right back up, driving through those heels. We wanna make sure that our back is flat. Again, our head is looking straight ahead here. We're driving up through those heels, using those glutes. Activating those glutes, squeezing those glutes at the top of that movement. Last eight seconds here. Five, three, two, one, and time. Good job. Good job, team. I know, I know. I'm keeping my dumbbell kettlebell out right here because we have those V ups for 40 seconds. Side to side V ups here. See if you can see me. <laughs> All right, last three here, two, 40 seconds on the clock. Starting now, starting from the left side. My hands are to the left and the right of me. Leaning back and leaning forward as we bring those legs up for stability and control here. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. Is the name of the game on this one. Using those hands for support. If you need to push down a little harder, Go ahead, there we go. Last 10 seconds left. Good. Hip flexors are working. Our core is tight, core is engaged. Two, one, last rep and time. Ah. Good job. <laughs> Take a second after that one. Take a second, those V-ups. I don't think we've done those yet on B-Fit Live, so. That's a new one for this year. <laughs> Again, if you're just joining us, welcome to VFit Live. We've just finished our first round of four exercises here. Our timing is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We have three more rounds to go. So if you are just jumping in with us, you can get a great workout in with our three workouts. The first round, we like to learn the movements. Second round, we like to own them. Third round, we will scale up if possible. And fourth round, we are just going to completely crush it. So 15 seconds left of rest here, and we will jump back into that front rack reverse lunge with an overhead press. A lot of compound movements here with resistance today. So we are working on building up that strength. We are starting in two, one. Here we go, team. Remember 20 seconds of work with one side, and then 20 seconds of work with the other. We are extending that reverse lunge back. That front knee is tracking over our toes. Rear knee is hovering just above the floor. 
and we are pressing up bicep next to us. All right, go ahead and alternate from right hand to left hand. Reverse lunge, left leg is extending back now. Good, drive up with power from that front heel as you stand nice and tall. Three more seconds, two, one, and time. Ah, nice and controlled, nice and smooth. Think of those muscle groups that we are working today. Eight more seconds of rest and we have the deadlift with a bicep curl. Again, it looks a little bit like this. Feet are shoulder width, if not closer together. In three, two, one. Go ahead and grab that resistance here. Lowering those hips back, pushing those hips back. Lowering that back to your comfort or parallel to the floor. Nice strong stance. Then we have 40 seconds of work here. We are down to 20. Feeling that stretch in your hamstring as you lower slowly. Good. That head is tracking with your spine. 10 seconds left here. Last five, three, two, one, and time. Good work, team. Good work. If you find yourself that your back is rounding out just a little bit, go ahead and you need to push those hips back a little bit more and then stop a little bit uh, above where you feel like you're rounding out. All right. God, let's start with the pulse in three, two, one, grabbing that resistance and we're working team. Standing down, pulsing up, right back down and right back all the way up. Good. Again, I'm using a kettlebell as an example on how we can utilize kettlebells for our workouts here. Sergeant Barry is using a dumbbell. So you, just like a dumbbell, you want to grab from the weighted portion here, the top of the dumbbell. 10 seconds left. Last five team, out in three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here, and we are jumping back down for the side to side V ups. <laughs> Good work. Good work, Sergeant Barry. Keep it up, keep it up, team. We are back up in five. I know, limited amount of rest for our BFIT live workouts. Here we go, team. V ups, left to right. Making sure we activate that core, keep that core nice and tight, nice and engaged. To the left and to the right here. Good. With this programming, 20 seconds of rest still allows you time to catch your breath between workouts, but it also keeps that heart rate elevated to really burn those additional calories. Plus, we have a short amount of time to work out today, but we are packing it in. Last five seconds here. Three, two, last rep, and time. <laughs> oh, <no>. Good job. <laughs> Good job, Sergeant Very. Good job. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Second round already done and complete in the books. All right, just to let everyone know, we have 40 seconds of rest here. Grab that water, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Remember from last week, it is important to set ourselves up for success. That means we wanna stay hydrated. If you are already thinking of, <laughs> you need water ASAP, <laughs> we should have been, we need to be drinking water before the workout today. So try and aim for a two hours before or an hour before just to drink that eight, 10, 12 ounces of water and try and stay consistent with that. Front rack reverse lunge in seven seconds. Wow, one minute flies by. All right, team, we are front racking in three, two, one, reverse lunge with an overhead press at the top. Third set in, third set in. Third round in, excuse me. Good, there we go. I like to keep my hand out for stability or you can keep it on your hip as well for support. Nice and controlled, 20 seconds in. Let's go ahead and eight at this last rep. Good, alternate hands and feet. Racking at that top rack position. Overhead press, good. Nice and controlled. Again, you're really hitting those lower body 
muscle groups, that quad, those glutes, those hamstrings, and time. And the uh, shoulders, the head of your shoulders, actually. For that overhead press. 10 seconds left, and we are jumping into that, re that deadlift with a bicep curl. Deadlift, again, pushing those hips back. Lowering to that back is parallel to the floor. And we are starting to one. Here we go, team. 40 seconds on the clock here. Again, our feet are just in under shoulder width apart. Just, just under shoulder width apart here. That back is tracking straight in alignment with that head. Good. Pushing those hips back. Feeling that stretch in your hamstring, your posterior chain here, your glutes, your hamstrings. I know we do a lot of anterior work, a lot of frontal work here. So we have to balance out where our power comes from. In two, one, and time. All right, in 20 seconds of rest here and we are back into that balance walk with a pause. Catch your breath here, shake it out. And raise those hands, we are up in seven seconds. All right, three more seconds here and we are back up in two, one, all right, team, Got that spot here, down with a pulse, a few inches of a raise, and then extending all the way back up to the top. Keep that core tight. Again, that back is flat, head is in that neutral position, meaning it's following in alignment with that spine. Don't look down, don't look up. Let's keep that gaze straight ahead. 13 more seconds of work here. Good. I know those quads are burning. Good, elbows tracking underneath your kettlebell or dumbbell. Two more seconds, last rep and time. Good job, adding that little pause at the bottom really forces you to activate the glutes, the hamstrings, your quads just for a little second longer. All right, we are on the ground here for those V-ups with a side to side in two. One, let's work team. Keeping that core tight once again. Think about raising those legs just a little bit higher for this round. Good, we are almost finished. Last 15. Good, keep that tight, keep that core tight. Last 10, out in five, team. Last three, two, one, and time. One minute of rest. And we are going into our last round, which means it is our what? It's our best round. I love it. Yes, it is our best round. Our last round is our best round. We have three rounds to perfect our movements. We have had three rounds to work is focused on our form, to focus on our timing, to focus on our speed, on our bra our breathing. So now is the time where we scale up. We try and push ourselves a little bit further, a little bit faster, keeping with that great form, obviously. But 20 seconds, towel off. Grab that last drink of water here. Let's get ready for that front rack position in 10 seconds. I'm already started, I'm excited. Here we go. We are up in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go team, front rack position. Reverse lunge with that overhead press. You can tell I am outside. <laughs> I have a little bit of background noise to share with you. <laughs> Pets are welcome on BFIT Live. All, all pets are welcome. I know Sergeant Barry can attest to that. Yes. 10 more seconds left here, and I forgot to cue you up to alternate. <laughs> Let me go ahead and do that in three, two, one. Extra credit, we're gonna make that back up after the workout. <laughs> 15 seconds of rest here. Sorry about that. <laughs> Remember last round we have done one workout down, three more to go. We have that deadlift to that front 
bicep curl. Again, deadlift into a bicep curl starting in four, three, two, one. Here we go, guys. Hinging at the hips, back up into that bicep curl. If you're scaling up in weight, go ahead and think about a little bit of a quicker tempo here. Nice and controlled though. Keep that form. If you're scaling up in weight. Pause at the top with that bicep curl. Really activating that bicep. Keeping those elbows tucked in close to your torso. Last eight seconds. Remember to keep that back flat. Soft into the knees, hinging at the hips, push those hips back. Last three, two, one. Last rep in time. <laughs> Good job, team. Good job. Keeping with that weight, we have that goblet squat with a pulse. We are hitting all angles of our lower body today. Nice lower body sequence here. Grabbing that resistance here. My kettlebells upside down for the most support. Dropping down to that lower squat. Pulsing right back up and extending up nice and quickly. Driving through those heels. Try and work with that explosiveness. Maybe it's a little bit quicker when you're driving up to that top position. Good, 20 seconds here. Good, standing up nice and tall. Two seconds of work. Left. Last 10. Keep it up, team. We're almost there. Last five seconds. And that chest up, gaze straight ahead. Three, two, one, and time. Those burned. Those got me, team. Those felt really good. We are on the ground for our last round and our last movement for today. Gather your breath, team. We are up in three, two, one. Feet on one side. Let's work side to side V ups. Good. If we can, let's think about maybe scaling down to one foot at a time or raising a little higher on those V ups. Good. Left to right here. Good. There we go. Good job. Last eight seconds. Stay with us. Good, it burns. Out in three, two, one, one and a half. And time. <laughs> awesome work team, awesome work. BFIT Nation, how are we doing? How are we feeling? Let us know in the comments. How did you do with today's workout? Did you add resistance? Do anybody, does anybody have a kettlebell with them at home? Do they use on a regular basis? Do you have dumbbells at home that you use on a regular basis with us on Beef It Live? Grabbing that drink of water real quick. Again, we just completed four rounds, four movements with 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. In just under 30 minutes, if you wanted to extend this workout, you can go ahead and incorporate another one to two more rounds after that, after we just finished here. And that's how you could reach a even longer workout if you felt the need to scale up in time, if you had the time allowed. The goal is here to really focus on targeting a full body workout with with, uh, each, with, each, with, each, with each exercise, excuse me. And um, in under just a short amount of time. Today, once again, I was using a kettlebell. I was demoing with a kettlebell that I found at my local exchange, or you can find online at shopmyexchange.com. Again, some benefits of the kettlebell. Uh, one, it is a comfortable handle. Two, you can utilize it as a swing much like a, a dumbbell where you, it's really tough to swing, you can actually swing with a kettlebell here to work on your power and your explosiveness, driving through those hips, driving through those glutes, really working on speed and power and explosiveness. Stability and balance. I know we had just one rack on one arm. All right, we're working on stability, use, utilizing smaller muscle fibers here to keep our balance, right? to work on that counterbalance to kind of offset 
your body and to pull to one side you're working on keeping that core tight and engaged to fight, to fight that imbalance right and all in one is just a great total body tool that you can use and incorporate into your everyday workouts and your workout regimens again shopmyexchange.com or your local exchange look for a kettlebell okay this is a 20 pound but we scale up to smaller uh, weight or scale up to larger weight. So find a weight that is that will work for you and the movements that you will do. And um, go ahead and pick one of those up. So with that being said, Sergeant Barry, any last words from you, ma'am? No, I just wanted to say I feel super accomplished. Got my workout done, it was a good one. So I'm ready to go for the rest of the day. Yes, ma'am, absolutely. It is a great way to start your mornings, to start your day, and to start your week. Thank you for joining us today. Be fit live. We are here every Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, unless there is a holiday, then we push our workouts to a Wednesday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Same great workout segments, same great timing. Again, short, um, short workout segments, so four, four rounds. You're able to incorporate all muscle groups that we have planned for you today. We will work on spicing things up a bit and there will be more cardio-based workouts. This was a lot more of a resistance-based workout for you today, but I hope you had fun. Leave us a note in the comments. Let us know how you did. And um, again, uh, BFIT Ambassador Roy Montes with my guest, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. We enjoyed moving with you today. So uh, take care, have a great week. Be ready, be set, and let's continue to be fit, guys. Signing off.